Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good today. Well, today we're going to talk about automatic doors for a chicken coop. And I'm going to show you how I installed this one, uh, just a few of the features on it. Now, this isn't a review particularly of this particular model. It's just kind of an overview of what you really want to look for in a door and uh, some of the things they say that you, one thing you might not really need. So I'm going to show you this up close here in just a minute, but uh, at this time of year, I see a lot of people in the feed stores and they're buying chicks. So here in a few months, they're going to bring them outside, put them in a coop. And I actually have a video that uh, tells the two big important things you need to watch out for before you bring them outside. And I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. But I wish I'd had an automatic door years ago. And uh, it, it, as far as keeping predators away from your chickens at night, I think it's one of the most important things you can do. So let me show you all the, the ins and outs on this one and what I like about it and kind of what I don't like about it. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the installation and a few of the features on here. And at the end, I'm going to talk about one thing that kind of gets overlooked, but I really do think it's important for some people to have this when they go to buy one of these. So let's sh let me show you how easy this was. All there really was was six screws, just three on this side and three on this side. Now, you can see this outline here. That was where my old automatic door was. And here was where this was a box that, that raised and lowered it. So I had to add a piece in because that door on my old one was wider than this one. So, but it's real simple. All you got to do is just cut, you know, the outline of this door. It didn't take me very long at all to put it in. Now I'm going to try to get the screen okay so you can see the current mode i have that set for time to time and so i have it opening at six o'clock and closing at nine o'clock now <clears throat> the problem with this one was and i didn't have it with my old one it was closing too soon i you can set these for daylight to daylight and that's where i had it set at and the first day i come out here and about half of my chickens are over in the pig barn because I think the sensor on it just, there was something not right there and it was closing too soon. So that part there I didn't like. So the problem with setting it uh, time to time is now I'm going to have to adjust it as it gets uh, lighter earlier and then as it gets darker later and then later on in the year it's the same thing in reverse. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. But other than that the door has worked really really good so let me show you another feature on here this has when the doors coming down if it hits an obstruction it'll go back up and then it waits so many seconds and then it'll go back down again now this part here it's okay I guess um, but I really don't think let me raise that back up I really don't think that's I wouldn't pay extra for it we'll put it like that I don't think a chicken's going to get trapped in there I think they're just too fast but it is something nice to have just in case and this one if something obstructs the door it it, it just doesn't keep trying to go down and go down so it won't you know uh, damage your unit so that's pretty good so all in all, I'm kind of happy with this. It did come with a remote. I'll probably never use that. I wouldn't pay extra for a remote, but that's something you might look at if you're going to buy one. That way you don't have to come all the way back out in your coop, especially if it's muddy or something like that. And uh, so those are a couple features you might think about. Now my old one was battery powered and it was kind of a pain. And this one here, it is solar and, and so far, uh, it's worked really, really good. The only thing I don't like 
is the plug-in is down here and I really wish it was on the side because as the chickens come out they might eventually you know hit it enough to damage it now they did give me plenty of cord and there's the solar panel now I have it facing towards the east behind me is south and they only have one screw to hold this up there's really only one place where you can put a screw and we get a lot of our weather from the west so i didn't want to put it on the south side of my coop and take a chance on it getting damaged you know getting knocked off by wind and so far the sun is it's worked really really good it hasn't run out of charge so <clears throat> there's a couple issues there that I really didn't care for I don't think you need and there's a couple that's uh, really good and this unit here was if I remember right it was $75 and that's that's solar now I've only had it a couple weeks but so far it's worked pretty good so guys that's something to think about if you're gonna go buy an automatic door and again raccoons uh, foxes all this it's out at night and that one time that you forget to close the door you know that's just how it works that'll be the time that something gets in there and gets at them so I really do think it is important to have one of these now let me talk about one thing that uh, we don't think about sometimes and this does kind of aggravate me when I go to buy something so hold on Okay, before I get to the last thing, if you like these videos, uh, you find them interesting, and I've got a lot of gardening videos, and guys, please consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it, and I'm always doing something different on this channel. So, the last thing is, uh, sometimes we don't think about this, but that's the instructions. Now, these were hard to read just basically because of the size of them but then how it was worded it was really hard to read and when you look at reviews online a lot of times they will say you know the instructions were good or bad if that is important to you you know if you know I, I got lucky because in, installing it I didn't have any problems but trying to to set it up and everything if if i need this it, it is hard to read so that's one thing to keep in mind well that's the video and, and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helps you if you're first getting chickens you're gonna love them all right well i'll talk to you later see ya